I'm Yasmin Anan with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa arrived in Bahrain last night following an official visit to Turkey at the invitation of President Erdogan, during which he held talks with President Erdogan and Prime Minister bin Ali Yildirim on the excellent deep rooted relations between the two countries and peoples and ways of further boosting joint cooperation in addition to regional and international developments. A number of agreements and memoranda of understanding to enhance aspects of joint cooperation between the two countries were signed. His Majesty also attended at the official ceremony under the patronage of the Turkish president for opening the Sultan Selim I bridge in Istanbul city. His Majesty was welcomed at Sakhir Air Base by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, and senior officials. During his visit to Turkey, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa received at his residence in Istanbul the Honorary Consul General of Bahrain in Istanbul, Abdullah Tivnikli, who presented to His Majesty the King a copy of the Holy Quran containing the same calligraphy of the Holy Quran copy found in the Turkish and Islamic Arts Museum at Topkapi Palace, calligraphed by Ahmed Karhisari during the reign of the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. His Majesty expressed admiration and appreciation for the estimated gift. He underlined the strong Bahraini-Turkish relations, commending the efforts of the Honorary Council General in boosting the bilateral relations and cooperation in the interest of the two countries and peoples. Present when members of the official delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King received today at Safriya Palace the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghait. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support to the Arab League's efforts in enhancing joint Arab action and unifying words between both the countries in order to face all challenges and defend the nation's issues. His Majesty welcomed Mr. Al Ghait and hailed his efforts in improving the level and performance of the Arab League in political, diplomatic, and developmental fields. He stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation amongst Arab countries in order to protect Arab issues and achieve the aspirations of nations and their peoples. He affirmed his support to all initiatives aiming at benefiting the Arab countries and maintain its security and stability, stressing the need for a stronger cooperation in order to overcome all challenges facing the region. His Majesty then discussed with the Secretary General recent developments regarding Arab affairs and the Secretary General of the Arab League thanked His Majesty for his continuous support, praising the firm stances of Bahrain in defending Arab nation issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudaybiya Palace the Secretary General of the Arab League, Abul Ghaith, where they discussed topics on Arab regional and international affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Arab nation is currently going through tough circumstances, facing challenges that are threatening its security, stability and peace. He stressed the need for more awareness that matches the level of these threats and for the Arab nation to have a unified goal that will consolidate its ability to face all challenges. The Premier highlighted the recent unfortunate events that affected some Arab countries' security and stability and said that the joint Arab actions priority should aim to bring all Arab countries together and help stop the consumption of their powers and capabilities and strengthen their abilities to face terrorism and foreign interference. He also emphasized the role the Arab League plays in facing plans of division, chaos and destruction and called for the need to exert more efforts towards developing joint action of the League in order to maintain stability, sovereignty and unify the Arab countries. He added that the Arab League forms a frame that reflects the nation's wish for unity and stability. He stressed the importance of reinforcing joint Arab cooperation on the economic, political and social levels and advancing the level of coordination. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Secretary General in reinforcing joint Arab cooperation and affirmed Bahrain's support for the Arab League. 
Mr. Abul Ghaith thanked the Premier for his stance regarding Arab and national affairs, which reflects his political wisdom that had a great effect on serving Arab matters. He expressed appreciation for Bahrain's firm stances in support of Arab unity in different fields and its role in defending Arab countries' interests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also received today at Gudaybiyah Palace President of the Supreme Judicial Council Chancellor Salim bin Mohammed al-Kuwari and members of the Shura and Representative Councils in the presence of the former Speaker of the Council of Representatives Mr. Khalifa Ahmed Dahrani. The Prime Minister urged the necessity of unity as the challenges being faced today leave no room for disputes. He said that what should be considered a priority at this stage is the country's security and stability, defending it from internal and external intervention, advancing its economic development march and leaving behind matters that would only lead to division. He added that the relations that bond the kingdom's people are more sophisticated and superior than anything that might affect it. He said that differences in points of view do not lead to disputes and that everybody agrees on national interest. The Premier reviewed with the audience national affairs, particularly those regarding developing the services provided for the people, as he stressed the government's keenness on advancing the level of these services, especially in villages. He affirmed keenness on following up the executive stance of the government's projects to ensure they meet the preset goals of providing comfort for the citizens. His Royal Highness stressed the government's desire to enhance its cooperation with the Council of Representatives to serve national interest. He reiterated all support to the legislative branch in order for it to be able to assume its legislative and monitoring rule, noting that the current critical situation and its various challenges require focusing on national efforts towards achieving the interests of the nation and citizens and maintaining national security and stability. Turning to regional and global issues, the Prime Minister loaded the role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in serving Islam and Muslims. He praised the great services Saudi Arabia provides for Hajj pilgrims, calling on pilgrims to support those dedicated efforts.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Guzaydia Palace today. He commended the outcome of the official visit of His Majesty the King to Turkey and hailed the positive impact it had on the bilateral relations that resulted in the signing of a number of agreements and planning executive programs. He also highlighted His Majesty's participation in opening the Sultan Selim I bridge and the heartfelt reception of Turkish government and people. The cabinet denounced the terrorist bombing in southeast Turkey last Friday that resulted in the death of 11 people and tens of injuries. They expressed condolences to the families and wished the injured a speedy recovery. The Council also stressed the government's full support to the Turkish government and its people, and the Prime Minister stressed the importance of distributing housing units, especially in villages and the capital, based on the seniority calibre, and to be in line with the government's policies in providing high living standards for the people of Bahrain. He also directed to finish the housing projects for Dumistan, Shahura, Janusan and Karana by the end of 2017 and to finish the development projects in Jawa and Hasker as well as housing and municipal services in the same area and directed to work on the municipal facilities and infrastructure services of El Shahura village. His Royal Highness instructed the Central Bank of Bahrain to strengthen supervision on the procedures of financial institutions that offer personal loans and to protect consumers' interests from any violations as well as ensuring that consumers commit to the requirements of the institution. He also directed the Ministry of Health to coordinate with the Supreme Council of Health to expand the visiting doctor program and to recruit global medical expertise for treating extreme medical cases. The cabinet approved two memoranda of understanding with Russia, the first one in gas trade and joint investments, and the second regarding partnership in the field of geophysical survey work. They also discussed a recommendation letter from the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs regarding the amendments of industrial services fees. They also discussed two agreements issued by International Maritime Organization, the first regarding amendments of the 1976 Convention on Limitation of Liability for Marine Claims, and the second about the 2001 International Convention on Civil Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage. The Cabinet referred to the Representative Council two draft laws regarding amendments of election municipal council members' law and the other about amendments of Office of Financial and Administrative Control law. They also discussed five suggestions by the Representative Council to provide some schools with more teachers, teachers' rewards and incentives. The other suggestions included medical treatment abroad, Bahrain stock market and planning and scientific research. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Gudaybiyah Palace the Chairman of the Egyptian General Federation of Trade Unions and Head of the Manpower of the Egyptian Parliament, Jabali Mohamed Jabali and his delegation in the presence of the Chairman of the Executive Council of the Bahrain Free Labour Union Federation, Yaqub Mohamed Youssef and Chairman of International Arab Relations of the Free Labour Union Federation. His Royal Highness welcomed the attendees and praised the bilateral deep-rooted relations and their development. He hailed the role of the Egyptian General Federation of Trade Unions in supporting the Bahraini Free Labour Union Federation, stressing the need to enhance cooperation between both countries to benefit both countries and peoples. He praised the role of Egypt in enhancing joint Arab action and defending the stability of the Arab nation. He also affirmed Bahrain's firm stances to Egypt in order to maintain the security and stability of the brotherly country. He then stressed the need for holding more visits, exchanging of expertise and strengthening cooperation. The Prime Minister hailed the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and their contributions to support the march of progress of the country. Mr Youssef thanked His Royal Highness for his efforts to enhance the joint Arab action. He pointed out the gains made by Bahrain in the fields of labour and trade union movements and hailed the support of the wise leadership and the people of Bahrain to the Egyptian community. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, met yesterday evening at Rafah Palace the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were a number of senior Bahraini sports officials and athletes who participated 
participated at the Rio 2016 Olympics in Brazil. And the son of the Crown Prince, his hand, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. The Crown Prince congratulated the athletes and officials on the team's strong performance in Rio, adding that Bahrain has always taken great pride in the accomplishments of its athletes in local and international sporting events. He particularly congratulated Bahrain's long distance runner, Ruth Jebet, for earning a gold medal at the Rio Olympics in the women's 3000 steeplechase event and for breaking the women's 3000 meter world record at the Diamond League meet this week in Paris. He said Jebet's outstanding achievements are a first for the kingdom in international endurance running competitions. The Crown Prince said Bahrain's athletes had demonstrated a high level of professional sportsmanship, achieving global success with record-breaking accomplishments, which had honoured and elevated Bahrain's standing on the international stage. In this regard, His Royal Highness acknowledged the tremendous support provided to Bahrain's sports sector by His Majesty the King, which had led to a remarkable and substantive improvement over the past few years. He praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khaled in improving Bahrain's sports and recreational sector. He also noted that the sport provided by the kingdom had yielded astonishing results and was evident in the athletes' efforts of strength, stamina and perseverance. He affirmed Bahrain's readiness to invest in and support all who have the skills, ability and potential to compete as the kingdom takes pride in its talented citizens. For their part, their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khaled praised the Crown Prince's support for Bahrain's youth and sports sector and their efforts to achieve ongoing successes. The audience expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and noted that the support received by him would motivate them for fresh achievements in the near future, further elevating Bahrain's standing in a range of disciplines. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, met today with the Secretary General of the Arab League. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak welcomed the Secretary General, affirming the League's role in enhancing joint Arab cooperation. While Mr. Abul Ghay thanked the Deputy Prime Minister, praising the role and support of Bahrain in enhancing joint Arab action and enhancing cooperation and coordination between brotherly countries to defend Arab issues. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak held a lunch banquet in honor of Mr. Abul Ghay, attended by Foreign Minister. Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Minister of Cabinet Affairs Mohammed bin Ibrahim Mutawa, His Majesty the King's Advisor Nabil Hamar, and senior officials. The Royal Guard Commander, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Forces Commander, Major His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also Commander of BDF Special Task Forces 6, received at Isa Air Base members of the task force participating in the operation Restoring Hope in Yemen within the Saudi led Arab coalition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the members of BDF Special Task Force and thanked them for their dedication in carrying out their sacred national duty alongside their brethren in the Saudi-led Arab coalition to support legitimacy in brotherly Yemen. He loaded their noble sacrifices as well as their courage and heroism while undertaking their national duty to defend the right and support efforts to restore legitimacy to Yemen. Royal Guard Deputy Commander Brigadier Hamad Khalifa Naimi, senior BDF officers and family members of the task force's personnel also attended the ceremony. The Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghaith. The minister took pride in Mr. Abul Ghaith's visit to the kingdom and renewed his congratulations to him and on his assignment. He affirmed confidence in the Secretary General's capabilities to further reinforce and develop Pan Am action in the interest of the nation in his capacity as a seasoned diplomat of high status and broad diplomatic expertise, wishing him success. The minister emphasized the key role of the Arab League in cementing inter-Arab bonds and protecting their integrity, particularly at this very critical moment as they're facing huge challenges that might put their national institutions and gains at risk. 
Mr. Raith hailed the distinguished role played by Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King in underpinning security and stability in the region, unifying ranks and coordinating Arab countries' stances. He thanked Bahrain for its continued support for him and for the Arab League and for its ongoing efforts to reinforce joint Arab action as this would be the main tool to surmount the challenges at all levels, wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. Under the directives of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and head of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the Minister of Youth and Sports received Bahrain's Olympic champion Ruth Jabbat upon her arrival in Bahrain after smashing the world record in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase by more than six seconds at the Paris Diamond League meeting on Saturday. The Minister conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association and their congratulations on the historic achievements. He expressed pride in her accomplishment, which reflects the care and follow-up of the Kingdom to sports and youth movements.